Yachts were a British power pop slash new wave band, best remembered for their 1977 single Suffice to Say, and minor new wave classic, Love You, Love You. The group was formed by art students in Liverpool in April 1977 out of an earlier band, known variously as Albert Dock or Albert and the Cod Warriors, who had supported the Sex Pistols on one of their infamous early gigs the previous year. The band originally consisted of Bob Bellis, John Campbell, Martin Dempsey, later replaced by first-rate Chopper Cooper, then Mick Shiner, and finally Glyn Havard, Henry Priestman, and Martin Watson. They played their first show at Eric's Nightclub in Liverpool, supporting Elvis Costello. This led to a recording contract with Stiff Records, where they released one single, the witty and self-referential Suffice to Say, written by Priestman and Campbell and produced by Will Birch. They also released a novelty single, Do the Chud, as the Chuddy Nutties. With label mates Costello and Nick Lowe, they then joined the newly formed Radar label. On October 9, 1978, a few weeks after releasing Look Back in Love, their first single on Radar, the band recorded the first of two sessions at Made Avail 4 Studio, for John Peel at BBC Radio 1. The track listing was hits, Yachting Type, Look Back in Love, and Then and Now. Dot. The band recorded their debut LP in New York City with producer Richard Gotterer. One reviewer raved that, the yachts have, got this cool cheesy keyboard sound with a nice chunky guitar underneath and in addition to being catchy tunes, their songs have hysterically funny lyrics. Like Yachting Type, Where the Guy's Girl Runs Off with a Yachtsman, or Montavani's Hits, which hypothesizes a rock and roll world where Elvis records had not been hits but Montavani's had. Or Box 202, where the guy's girl is killed in an aircraft crash so he puts out a classified ad to look for a replacement. The others deal with romance in equally oddball ways, but always rocking and always catchy as hell. Reviewing the LP and Chris Gow's record guide, Rock Albums of the 70s, Robert Chris Gow wrote, You have to hand it to a group that can give itself such a ridiculous name and then come up. With credible songs called Yachting Type and Semaphore Love. Actually, most of these songs are pretty credible, even the one structured around the word tantamount. Funny Boys. No doubt about it. But their biggest joke is a mock snooty, mock operatic rock crooning style that I'm not eager to hear again. They toured in the US and Europe with Joe Jackson and The Who, and released a second album with producer Martin Russian. Both albums were released by Polydor in the US. Campbell left the group in 1978, and Dempsey departed in 1980. Dempsey became a member of Pink Military, and Campbell helped to found its immaterial. Yachts finally split up in 1981. Priestman, who for a time was a member of both Yachts and Bet Bright in the Illuminations, then went on to join its immaterial, WA. And, most notably, The Christians, more recently working as a producer with Mark Owen and Melanie C. Retrospective appraisals of the band's output vary. MC Strong dismisses Yachts as one of the many outfits jostling for recognition in the overcrowded pop, rock marketplace. Colin Larkin is more generous, writing that Yacht's popularity was fleeting but they left behind several great three-minute slices of pop, including a cover of Ardeen. Taylor's There's a Ghost in My House. Vernon Joinson summed up Yacht's approach. Lyrically, much of their material was in the usual boy, girl realm but with humor. Musically, they ranged from 60s-influenced rock with, Farfisa, organ to fast-paced punk come new wave. Steve Gardner loved this approach. They hammered out these rocking pop songs surrounded by swirling washes of cheap keyboards. Lots of their songs strung together common threads of boating and strange tales of love, and they had some hysterically funny lyrics, like I wouldn't climb any mountain. For you slash ford any stream that's a daft thing to do slash cause I'm cynical 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 through and through from love you, love you. Film critic Mark Kermode. Who plays the double bass for the skiffle band the Dodge Brothers, names Yachts as one of his favorite bands. Thanks for watching.